So you're leading the charge in portraying women more realistically on screen. <laughs> Just what everybody wants. No, it's wonderful. I mean, is it an uphill battle? Do you find that it's difficult to do that? I've been so lucky. I, I feel like to be offered any any acting part that I didn't have to help generate, I just feel very lucky. And then for, for Karen Croner to have written this lovely script and this, this p lovely part about this, uh, you know, kind of evolved and intelligent woman who still goes through this um, kind of emotional ride in this movie it's like I'm just it doesn't feel like a battle at all it feels like Christmas morning well you know in the film your advice to students is if you want to get into school just be yourself mm -hmm. is that the secret to good comedy too probably <laughs> probably <laughs> only the truth is funny that's what they used to tell us back in school and also you're gonna star in the new Muppets film well the Muppets are gonna star in it that's true well you'll be supporting and I'm sure that's as coveted as a spot as the an Ivy League spot was, yeah. Did you have to apply? I had to write. I had to write an essay, and I had to meet with an alumna. Oh, really? Oh, excellent. Well, I hope they were nice. <laughs> so my my last question for you is: Paul said he pitched this film hard to you, right? Uh, what were your first thoughts when you you read the script? Really, I remember the first meeting I had with with Paul and Karen Croner. The really the only kind of thing I sort of said to them was, we talked a little bit about kind of the feminist politics of of the movie a little bit, and then uh, also originally the movie was closer to the book and that it had a couple of legitimate sex scenes in it and I was like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> so they were kind enough to accommodate that. Okay.